So I believe that the five prayers, daily prayers, were acceptable in the time of the Prophet ﷺ. The ban on riba was acceptable. The ban on homosexuality was acceptable. These are all valid in the time of the Prophet ﷺ. But now we're in a different time and place. We're radically different socio-cultural contexts. <laughs> They're not valid today. This is also what Ismailis say, these deviants, who they have already rejected the prayers, they rejected fasting, they reject hajj, they reject hijab, they reject everything, and they still want to claim that they're Muslims. These are Ismailis. So even the Shia, even the 12 Shia say Ismailis are kuffar. So, but this is the kind of logic when you engage in Maslaha Mursala and this consequentialist framework, you're opening the doors uh, to all of this rejection. So are these qualified scholars or deviants? In the course of history, innovators and apostates not only claim to be Muslims whose rejection of the Sharia norms was justified by their interpretation, many of them claim to be qualified ulama. So people like these Ismailis, these unorthodox Sufis, the Falasifa, they all claim that they're qualified scholars. We're qualified. We're qualified. We're orthodox. We, we believe in the Quran. We believe in the Prophet ﷺ. They always have this lip service. And the same is true for the Wasati reformers. They claim constantly that they're qualified ulama. They can do the ijtihad. They can do the tajdeed. They claim to be mujaddideen. Yeah. They, all of these deviants have said that in history. So 